Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International, new artist and educator here. And I'm really excited because I'm going to show you another beautiful tutorial. Check it out in here. Yeah, this is what we are going to create and I hope you will really enjoy watching it. If you do, let me know down below in the comments as I would like to know uh, what are your thoughts about uh, this tutorial. Also, if you're new in here, hit the subscribe button as there is lots of tutorials to catch up on, about few hundreds now. And existing subscribers, thank you so much guys for all your likes, comments and shares and for everything you do for this channel because obviously uh, we are here because of you. Let's start! It's going to be a stunning delicate set and we will use some sugar on it as well like I think it will look fantastic so for the sugar you could just um, apply the high shine no wipe top gel over the entire nail and then just sprinkle with it If you're interested how to sculpt the set of the nails or how to do it on the tips as well, I have attached a wee card for you so you can see it, um, how to do it. And here it is only a design. So I'm taking a sugar and on each color it is going to look different. So um, it looks awesome on different type of colors as well. I'm just going for a very delicate white look for a change. Remove the excess and then give it a cure. Look how beautiful it is. I love this sugar so much. The farm nail is going to be sugar as well. And it doesn't need the top coat like it is okay to use it without of the top coat uh, on top of this design. That's what we want. We want this effect to kind of have this sugary look. And obviously the finer glitter you've got, um, the better results you get, like, because uh, it's not catchy, it's much smoother. Uh, that's why I love this one so much. And then give it a cure. And same on the middle finger. So very quick way of, of doing the designs, because uh, quite often I do it just on top of the... Uh, nude set so I will sculpt the set of the nails or I will do it on the tips and then just sprinkle it with the sugar just remove the bit of fluff and then sprinkle this one of course it can be also encapsulated as well but then you get a different look to it and then give it a cure Okay, so clean the mess <laughs> and then we are going to move on into the next part of this uh, beautiful design. So I don't want to go over the top and I'm using the uh, foil design gel and also some glitter as well. So the glitter which we are going to use is a shooting star. So we've got some glitter here. And we are just going to paint a couple of the lines with this glitter. Painting with the glitter isn't easy job because you've got those sticking out bits and pieces so I'm always painting like in the middle and then I'm slowing down to perfect the shape of it. Just to kind of massage it properly. You can also move some larger particles of the glitter And just make it prettier. Mm. 
then give it a cure. Same on this one, but just in a different place. So first of all, I'm just painting like a line. Pretty quick one, so I, I know the shape of it and then perfecting it. And then give it a cure. Okay, now is the time for a top coat. Because we are going to apply some chrome here as well. So top coat it. Same on this one. Okay, let them cure and we are going to remove the tips which are ready. What I'm always doing after I uh, do the sugar is take a file and just give a couple scratches so there is no rough places and then remove the excess of the glitter. And this is absolutely safe to wash the hands like it's not going to come off. So the first nail is ready. Then I've got the middle finger, so do the same. And the pinky, so very quick set uh, to do it. But what is awesome about it, you can uh, use it with different colors, the sugar effect. There we are. Okay, the first tip is ready. So I'm just taking a buffer and I'm going to buff it. Otherwise the chrome pigment is going to stick into our top coat and I really don't want that. So you really need to give it a proper buff. Uh, you could apply the matte top coat over it as well, but I find it like matte top coat over the glitter is kind of making the glitter not as shiny later on. So that's why I have choose the normal top coat. But it has to be really properly buffed because otherwise the chrome sticks in there. Great. Now we are going to use the foil design gel. So that's this foil design gel. And the deliner brush. So I'm just cleaning it from the glitter, like making sure it has a nice point. Pick up the product I'm going to use. And then we can paint another lines. Then leave a gap.
and perfect the line. Okay, once you're happy with it, give it a cure. And now the foil design gel, when we use it for a foil, so we have to cure it very gentle. And when we're using it for a chrome, so we have to over cure it, so I'm curing 60 seconds. So above this new as well. And then paint the lines. So clean it everything properly and paint the lines. And one more. and then give it a cure. Now we are going to use some chrome uh, pigment. I'm using the Solid Magic Mirror Powder from the Model 1s. I will give you also the links to all the products. Uh, Now I have picked up a little bit of the pink and a little bit of the gold to kind of create a rosy gold color. And just rub this in. Remove any excess and grab some base gel. using an old brush. And some crystals. I've got the perfect size. And the crystals attached with the base gel always last amazing. It 
when you're placing the last one and you want to have a line like you have to check it if you make uh, if you need to make the crystals close together or if you need to make them more spare apart now I'm just making sure the line is straight and then give it a cure exactly the same on this one so we are going to this room rub it in You could paint the line with the top coat as well, but I think like it might be just a little bit more difficult than doing with the uh, black gel, which has a slightly different consistency. And I think it's just much easier. Okay, the baseline. And a couple crystals. So I kind of place them on the tip and then I get them into the place. Okay, and then we are close to the last crystal. So we either need to move them closer together or make them more spare so they are filling up full line. And then once you're happy, I am give it a cure. Now high shine top coat. Go well around the crystals, like kind of giving those shaky motion. So we secure all the chromes and then the last crystals you have to really cap it at well because that's the crystal which might jump out. Same on this one. Give it a cure. And if we would want to go even more fancy, we could add a line of the sugar in there as well. So a top coat. And then sprinkle it with the sugar. Give it a cure. And do exactly the same on this one. OK, 
Okay, make sure you don't touch the crystals or you don't touch the line because otherwise you will get the sugar stuck in there. Tap it to remove the excess and let me show you the final results. So not over the top set. You could easily do it um, all nails like a one color and then do this design on the one or two fingers. Okay, this one is ready. So I'm just taking a brush, cleaning the excess and you can see it sugar only sticks into this part. It's kind of just connect the design together. And the next one, so just clean it. And you can see it. It looks nice and pretty with the sugar. So very delicate set, but nice and sparkly. You can have a look, guys, what we have created today. Yeah, really nice. I like this sugar line. I hope you have really enjoyed it. Glittery hacks and bye for now. Mm -hmm.